Hi, all. It's Karen, and look who's back. Pluto! For Karen. I'm feeling much better. Good. Here for Karen and Pluto's not another review channel. I guess this is a movie review. Actually, this one requested this I one. I think it was for, made for TV. Yeah, for his I like this. return. I don't... Did you have fun without me? It was interesting. You like Bandit? He's a little different. Yeah, he makes it very different. Sometimes he says naughty things. Uh, that's putting it mildly. Okay, well, I'm back. So, I gotta watch. Nobody miss me. Nope. Um, we were discussing your pizza with pumpkin filling and how you never gave me the recipe. I just made it. Oh. I'll have to give it to you. Okay. We this weekend. Okay. So, we reviewed It's going to be something a little different, I think, for this channel. Um, Say it. It's Jim Henson's Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. This is cool. I honestly don't remember if I ever saw this. I saw it when I was a bitty monster. I like it. So this was actually made back in 1977, I guess released Way on, before my time. on uh, DVD in 2013. It's not rated and it's about 49 minutes. Um, the big thing I, I said with this is you can really tell it's a Jim Henson production. Jim Henson was cool. I mean, it, I miss him. Yeah. It was like you could tell because it had like the feel of like Fraggle Rock and the Muppet Show. And I love Fraggle Rock. That like you could actually tell like it was he was in on making this. I like Red Fraggle. And apparently this was based on I don't know if it was a series of books or a book. But I never heard of that. Yeah. Um, they showed it real quick at the beginning. Um, so basically there's kind of a wide shot and it's showing like different animals doing things. And we focus on two otters that are in a rowboat singing while they're delivering laundry because i guess they do laundry it's emmett and his mom who's her name's alice i just wrote mom throughout the whole thing um so they're taking laundry to people saying about going to water waterville that day to guess to do some er errands Erin. yeah um so it's kind of like that it shows them for a little bit and we get to waterville there's this group of hooligans causing a ruckus they're kind of funny um i like the bear yeah what was the bear's name very very snaky fishy yeah that's about it i don't remember so um Emmett and his mom are walking through doing errands um talking about how they have limited money especially since pa's dead um, yes, Dad. They get by the music store where these hooligans are in there causing a ruckus. Um, there's They're basically good music. Yeah. There's a guitar in a window with pearl inlays. It's Mother you. of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Okay, sorry. I like those kind of guitars. Yeah, Bob always mentions about stuff like that. So it's just like, yeah, I'm sure he knows exactly what all this is. And it's used, but it's $40. And it's like, oh, you could get me that for Christmas. And honestly, with this movie, because that's what I even said, you wouldn't even know it's Christmas. Without them mentioning it. You know, yeah, it's, it's not cold, overly done. It's not overly broadcast or anything like that. Like stupid that. stuff now. Yeah. So, um, basically, the hooligans come out of the store. They've made a mess. Um, Emin and his mom are standing outside. Then it cuts away to them rolling back. Rolling back. Listen to me. Rowing back home. Oh! And they're kind of talking about, yeah. you know, Christmas being a couple days away and some other things. And then... They were talking about the last Christmas before Paul died, and they do another song. There's a lot of songs. The songs in this are cool. Movie. They're um, not cheesy or nothing. Yeah. So we go to the next day, and here it snowed, and the river's frozen. So they're saying, quick. you know, how eventually they would be walking the river for a while because of the weather changing. But I hope um, they don't fall in. Yeah. Emmett's gathering wood, and one of his friends comes by and says, somebody in town offered him 50 cents to. Fix her fence, but he doesn't have wow. any tools. Em is like, I have tools, and um, his friend's like, Well, if you come with me, we'll split it. That's not very much money, is it? Maybe a lot a quarter a piece, but that was a that doesn't a, seem like a lot. It's a lot of money to them. So um, Emmett goes in, tells his mom he's going. He has a paying job, and he'll be back later. Um, a friend of his mom comes over and um, to use the spinning wheel, I guess mom has borrowed what's a spinning wheel it's kind of where they take um i don't know really how much they do this now there's maybe some places to do it but they take like wool and that and when you spin it through it forms yarn or thread or something oh, like, cool. depending on what you're spinning you should do that i have no clue how to do it i think it's a little more high tech than what i'm explaining well if another can do it you could yeah so um 
Emmett and his friend run into two other friends and they're talking about this talent show that's going to be going on in Waterville and the prize is $50. Well, mom's friends also saying about her that Ma should enter the contest because she has a beautiful voice. And they're like going back and forth about entering because they want Emmett to do bass jug? No, not bass jug. Bass something. Bass oh, yeah. wash board or something but you have to put a hole in their water container that mom uses to wash the laundry to make their living. So Emma's like, no, no, I'm not doing that. And mom's kind of going on. She goes, why would we need a costume? We don't have money for that. I don't have anything else I can hawk. Cause mom's like gotten rid of a lot of things over the years because they've needed money since pa's died. Yes, sad. Um, and then they both, it kind of goes back and forth between the two of them that going, well, if I would enter, I could get this for this one. Like Ma saying she would get Emmett the guitar he wanted. That's Emmett, nice guitar. Emmett's kind of going on. He goes, well, I guess they used to have a piano, but Mom hawked it at one point because they needed the money. And he goes, well, I couldn't buy a new piano, but I could put a pay down payment on a piano for Ma. I use one. Yeah, I use one. Um, well, in the middle of all this, too, Emmett comes home and he brings home the Christmas branch. That's kind of funny. And they talk about what how this tradition started with Paul. And I guess it was like every year he would go out and say he's cutting down a tree, but he would get there and instead just cut off a branch because then the tree could stay to be enjoyed That's for neat. future, which was kind of interesting. They had their own little tradition. So um, eventually they both decide to enter the contest because they know that's what Paul would do. This is after they go outside. I guess Paul had built this sled that they would slide down. The, not they, He built this slide that you could slide down the side of the hill and onto the ice. So they're Very out good. there sliding and having a good time. And they both decide to do what's needed because that's what Paul would do. Yeah. So Emmett ends up putting the hole in the tub. And then Ma ends up hawking the tools that Emmett uses to make money so she can get stuff to make her costume. Um, so you see the band practicing, Ma making the dress. And they're like, oh, God, you know, they're both like, we have to win. We have to win. I like that song. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, the music in this is very enjoyable. It's pretty good. Um, basically, the band's practicing and the hooligans from earlier show up. And they're like, oh, what's all that noise? Because they're on snowmobiles and they're making fun of them, thinking they could actually win the talent show. So we get to town, the town hall for the contest. And it's the first annual Waterville Christmas Talent Contest, I think is what they call it. Very good. And the guy that's like the MC for the event introduces the judges. The MC. Yeah, that's what somebody that kind of... What's that stand for? I can't... Master Ceremonies. Oh. Very um, good. So he introduces the judges and everything. So they're standing... Um, Emmett and the band are standing back... His friends are backstage. And the second act does the song they were planning on doing. So they get in a panic and they're like, we can't do the same song. They're going to think we just copy. So they're like, and it's like, well, we got some time. Let's go in the alley and we'll practice another song. That was quick. They must be really talented. Yeah. So um, eventually the guy who's overseen the ceremony <clears throat> tells them to get back inside. We're assuming they practice a new song. Well, then here they're back inside in time for Emmett to see his mom's performance. It was which, pretty good. Which gets big applause. Yep. And Emma's like, oh my God, mom, you did great. And she's like, what are you doing here? He goes, well, we're entering too. So then it's their turn to perform and they get big applause as well. They did manage to learn a new song. Sounded pretty good. Yeah. So um, they're going back and forth like, you're going to win. No, you're going to win. Well, all of a sudden this late entry shows up that they normally wouldn't allow, but they're allowing. I do think they were the best. And here it's they're good. the hooligans with their band, but they have like a Big stage presence and basically blow the roof off the place. They're good. And surprise, they win the competition. I'm not surprised. They're good. So they're all walking home. Well, they're actually sitting outside afterwards, kind of discussing. See, I don't think it went the way you thought it was going to go. No, it did. That's why I like it. And they're sitting outside talking afterwards. And here the one jog judge comes out and tells them. The judges were really impressed, but you guys just need a little something more. And it's and, and not to get with not to give up. So they start heading home and um Emmett and his ma are discussing, you know, what they were planning on doing with the the prize money. And basically they're like, 
Emmett's mom is like so touched. She's like, that's the greatest thing anybody's ever thought to give me was the piano. And they're um, one of uh, ah, Emmett's friends is playing his kazoo and Ma starts humming and she's like, wait a minute, these songs can go together. So they are like standing there kind of, he, she goes, I'll start singing. I'll tell you guys when to come in. So they start performing and here um, they're standing outside this one restaurant where the, the toad judge that talked to them after the, uh, after the show had told them, you know, you need, there's just something more you need. And it, they're performing outside his restaurant. And it's, be it's a beautiful, it's beautiful what they do. And the See, toad cool. and everybody else starts coming out to listen. And basically they blend their songs together. Creative. And they get huge applause afterwards. Well, the toad offers them a job at the restaurant to come in and perform. And they'll get paid, and they'll also get a free meal when they come. Well, the one dude's all worried about the mashed potatoes. That's all he wanted. Day school. So, and I think what it's, oh, potatoes. I forgot to mention, this talent show took place on Christmas Eve. So, this is all still Christmas Eve. So, they do their first performance that night at the restaurant. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then afterwards, they're all walking back home. The one character is going on about how they had some good mashed potatoes. <laughs> I was just kind of. Hey, I like mashed potatoes. Yeah. I was kind of chuckling good mashed with potatoes. that. They don't make me sick. They don't make you sick. No. And they kind of, Ma stands there. She goes, I want to do a song for Pa. So they do another song. And Nick. That's pretty cool. Kind of. We should do that. And it's from there. What? Make our own jug band. No, we should go and rap. Oh. Yeah, because I rap so much. So um, it's really cute. Like I said, I don't remember seeing this. I can't believe ever. it. Ever. Because I'm sitting there like, watching no, it. And I'm like. Time ago. I'm just watching it. And I'm kind of like, mm, nope. Yeah, nope. I, I don't think you're going to like it. No, I really enjoyed it because, I mean, it wasn't predictable. It wasn't childish. Even though it says it's a Christmas movie, you don't really know it's Christmas other than, you know, a mention here and there about it. Is it and childish? No, no. I mean, and like I said, too, before we started uh, the review. Teaches a good lesson. Too, that You it, don't always win. Right. But it also, you know it's a Jim Henson production. But you never lose if you try. No. And that's what happened. I mean, they, they figured out a way that, okay, this could work. And it ended up benefiting them in the long run to the point that hopefully Emmett and his mom weren't going to have to worry about doing people's laundry. So instead of a one-time thing with the contest, they might have a long time. Yeah, they may they <laughs> would have a, hopefully a longer, and who knows, maybe they'd be traveling eventually. I mean, you kind of wonder, like, okay, where they did this go sequel. from them? There was only one. I like this. Yeah, but like I said, you can definitely tell it's a Jim Henson production. So that's what I absolutely loved about it because i mean grew He's up cool. grew up watching the muppets and fraggle rock and you i like know. fraggle rock muppets are cool i love fraggle rock yeah but i mean it was just kind i like of, red fraggle red fraggle she's funny <laughs> so i mean like like i said if you enjoy those like muppets and fraggle rock definitely watch this if you haven't seen it yep. um it's relatively cheap on dvd on amazon because that's where i ordered it from um i thought they did a re-release and limited um last christmas with this because that's when i first oh. heard it mentioned like i've heard of it before but then people were talking about it and i'm just like yeah i don't know if i ever saw this wow so, kind of checked on the amazon it was a decent price um i read reviews for the blu-ray and it said it's basically nothing more than what they just basically transferred over from the dvd to the blu-ray from what the review said DVD's so, good dvd is fine i mean play fine it was clear yeah, it looked really good. And everything. So, like I said, if you want to pick it up on Amazon, I'm starting to get the hiccups. Okay. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when we post new content. Help share the page. It would be greatly appreciated. Here I go. You going to throw up? No, hiccups. Oh, that's like you going to... Yeah. So you get hiccups I, I, did, I don't think I did that in any of these reviews. I don't know. I'll have to uh, watch them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I did that at all. I got to watch The Bandit. Yeah. Anywho, um, see how you two go together. <laughs> subscribers and watchers, thank you. Appreciate all of you. Keep coming yep. back for more. Watchers, please subscribe. Um, check out if K you don't, she's gonna be sad. Yeah, check out K Dolls Game Toys and More, Toy and Game Reviews, some movie stuff. This guy, on occasion, he has his own movie over there. I do, yeah, you do. Hungry, Hungry Bluto. Oh, yeah, it's been so long since we did it over there. <laughs> I forgot. We need to do more stuff. Yeah, we will. I gotta do more stuff with Boris, too. I gotta figure out what to do with Boris. Yeah, you don't like him. I like him. I he just I don't know what to do. 
Anyways, um, Amazon wish list is posted. If you want to help us out with something, it'd be great. Can I see my stick still? Yeah. Well, he keeps busy. There's a ton out in the yard from all the windstorms we've had. That's recently. what he's been doing. Yeah. He keeps busy. Um, if there's something out there you want us to review, let us know in the comments. If we can locate it, great. If not, and you're willing to get it for us, that would be amazing too. Cool. Anyways, hopefully this one will stay well. Hopefully I'll remember to cook the chicken all the way, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. You want to see more Bluto? Make sure to subscribe.